Welcome back Planet Zoo Adventurers to another episode here on UK Theme Parks as we continue in our Asia section. So as we said, this is our new section of the park. This is one that we're going to open to kind of take people away from the African section so we can go back and refurbish that. So we are really, really making an effort on this. We really are trying to make an effort on this. As we said, we have paused it as a general. We don't like to pause it, but this is such a big build. I and mean, you know, we really want to get the refurbishment done elsewhere as well as expand the zoo. You know, there are so many animals we haven't even touched on, so many animals we haven't touched on, and so much work to actually do as well that we really, really, really want to crack on and get this done. Now, last episode, we built the panda enclosure, which you have just seen on the right hand side. They are happy, they are uh, out and about, even though people can't see them there. Um, we've then built the red panda enclosure next to them. We've had a couple of issues with the red panda enclosure. Uh, we did have an escape because at the end of the last episode, I put some red beams on the front of the building. And sadly, these red beams uh, are climbable. So we're gonna have to move those very, very shortly. But, you know, we wanted to get the animals in to make sure we can get the right, um, you know, set up for them, get the right uh, land for them, the terrain for them, get the right, um, you know, plants and everything in for them. And then of course we enclose it and get some rocks in as well. We'll get some plants in the rocks and of course use the barricade to, uh, you know, just make a good viewing point. So yeah, the public will be able to hang over the edge of the path, if you will, uh, hang on a barricade and look straight into the enclosure. Um, the panda enclosure, we put a nice viewing section in, so people could go up high and have a look, and we will probably do that for some more enclosures as well. Not sure whether we'll do it for the red pandas, to be honest, but let's just see how this pans out and which direction we, we really want to go in otherwise. Bins very very important we get quite a lot of litter and then yeah we are going to put some very very simple shelter in um, you know and it, it's not going to look spectacular but it is literally just a cover because you get so much rain in the game where we're on a um, European biome um, and you know and it's nice one of the reasons why I wanted to pick the European biome was I was although I didn't know quite how the rain would affect I certainly didn't know it looks as stunning as it did um, you know, it's really nice. If you pick a, a you know an African biome, you're probably not going to get much um, rain. You're probably definitely not going to get any snow. I can't imagine you'll get any of that. And it's really great to see, and it really tests you, and it really adds another dimension to the game, uh, which you know we're really, really, um, you know, really, really enjoying. We are absolutely loving it. It's something quite unbelievable. And of course, we still have so much to achieve in this game and so much to try. You know, the null barriers, we've not really got the grip of them yet. We haven't done a walkthrough yet either for our uh, guests because you can walk through with um, a few of the animals, which is quite nice. Uh, so we've, we've still got to look at that. There's so much we need to look at properly, properly, properly look at in this game. And that's what I'm so excited about. You know, I was really excited when Planet Coaster came out and I started playing that and I spent hours and hours and hours on it. And I still love playing Planet Coaster. I really, really do. And of course, the new series is now live on UK Theme Park. So make sure you catch that one. Um, and we'll have another series as well in the new year. But Planet Zoo is new, it's fresh. Um, you know, there's a lot of people interested in it. Christmas is coming up. There's a few people, you know, saying, shall I buy it, shall I buy it? 100%, 100% you should buy it, without a doubt. Now then, we are going to put some Bengal tigers in here. We are trying to get the paths. One of the things I really, really hate is the paths. I cannot stand the way the paths work on here. I don't overly like them on Planet Coast, to be fair. I just don't think they link very well. It's very hard to get sort of... Um, uh, you know, symmetrical either side is just a. I mean, you know, when you look at this now, we're trying to do this. Why doesn't it just? Why doesn't it just go in? It's such a pain. I just feel like you go around. Maybe there's an easy way. If there's an easy way, and you found an easy way, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know because I can't find the easy way. I can't find it. I can't find it. So again, at the back of the enclosure, we're going to add uh, the water and the power. This will be enclosed. This will be hidden away. Uh, we'll have a trade center. We'll have a staff center as well to make sure that everyone's happy along with a vet uh, and then of course you know the staff can stay out of sight stay off the main paths and have their own little path down the back now as you can see here with the bengal tiger area we are going to have uh, literally the main path is going to walk over the top and then you're going to have the option to go down and have a look through the glass we are going to have some glass on this one um, as well as the electric fence and we want to theme it very slightly differently so we're going to use um the more brick wall theme rather than the stone wall theme. And you know, these designs we're doing with the red here are literally completely random. You know, they're not based on anything. I know we've seen a lot of people that have based 
uh, designs and things on real zoos and what have you but you know these real zooms have only kind of based them on themselves to be honest with you so we really want to make sure we've got something different uh, and you know something a, a little bit fresher if you will uh, and kind of make our own designs yeah they're not going to be spectacular i understand they're not going to be spectacular but they are certainly going to be a little bit different the fonts as well the fonts is another thing i really really don't enjoy in the game um you, you know i don't really understand why you can't make them bigger i don't understand why you can't space them out you know we've got a massive canvas there to do it and there's no there's no font size or anything it, it really does my head in planet coaster as well the fact you can't do it and sadly it's no better in planet zoo but hopefully you know they'll look at these going forward and we might get some changes we might get some changes inside this building we're going to theme it a little bit because this isn't going to really be a, a building where you know people come in or anything like that and sit down you know this is just sort of a entrance area to you know this is the tigers you're going to come and see the bengal tigers and you're just going to walk through this little walkthrough first before you get there to really separate you from the the area you've just come in so again we want to make it look as good as we possibly can we want to make it kind of fit in really well uh, you know we're gonna put a little base on it and of course we are going to have the viewing area down the bottom which will uh, you know be have an undercover spot as well so yeah we are really you know trying to theme it best we can I swear we had a bigger one than that there we go we're gonna make a bigger one pop it up there there we go that looks better and you know the shade really really helps it, it, again in, in Planet Coaster, it doesn't matter too much, but in this one, you know, as soon as it starts raining, people are like, "Where's, where's, where's the information booth? I want to buy, I want to buy an umbrella. You know, I need to buy an umbrella." People hide for cover, and if you haven't got any cover, it just really upsets people. And again, you know, when we're looking at guest feedback, this is the kind of thing we want to eliminate. We want to eliminate excuses and things. And you know, much like when you go out, you don't want people ruining your day um, by, you don't want parks ruining your day by uh, stupidity or laziness or not having the right things to help you if you've, you know, not got them, um, or there's a surprise rain shower or anything like that. We want to make sure that everyone is happy. Now, again here, we are going to build a building over here, a building over the entrance. That's gonna kind of be the new style which we take in. And we're gonna have a slightly different, uh, more Indian style theme here. Of course, we'll start it at the top end, we'll then bring it down, bring it across, and uh, fill in the blanks at the bottom just to make sure that we've got uh, every angle covered. From here as well, we're gonna have some shops on the outside. So we'll kind of link in really nicely the building. Um, We'll remove the rocks in here. I don't think we need the rocks in there. That'll give them a little bit of a bigger space as well to, to have things, uh, you know, have a little den in. And we will actually enclose that one off rather than seeing the fence. Now, again, I'm not 100% sure. I think the walls do act as barriers. I think they act as barriers. And they don't actually tag as climbable either. But then if they act as barriers, I'm not entirely sure why you would have habitat fences other than to put a gate in. And I think this is maybe where the null fence comes in. So the null fence, uh, for those that are wondering, is effectively an invisible fence. So uh, the, the great way of looking at this is you would use perhaps a moat, uh, a, a piece of water going around the land um, in which you know you've got animals that can't, uh, you know, can't swim. So you could put them on an island, particularly used with monkeys, actually. A lot of parks use this with monkeys. You know, I can think of uh, a few zoos and things in the UK where we've gone and you uh, go to a monkey bit and they're kind of on an island with water around it. Now, granted, for obviously safety purposes, they still use electric fences uh, kind of around the edges. But in terms of the game, you wouldn't have to do that. You can have a little moat. You can put an invisible fence in just so you can add a gate down the back. And then once you've added the gate down the back, you can open it and it literally looks like they're not enclosed. Uh, to some degree, you can use it with uh, other animals as well. I have seen uh, a couple of examples with some of the bigger animals that if you make the ground uh, deep enough, if you're putting water in, that indeed they won't travel through it. And that is something we are gonna definitely test later, but we're probably gonna test that more um, with the African area. I think for this area, I don't want there to be too many um, you know, issues. I wanna get this built. If I need to use a, a, you know, a, a fence for now, a habitat fence, we'll cover it in some rock and we'll make it look pretty. Um, I think that's probably the best way of doing it rather than um, doing too much experimenting over here. And then of course when we get to the Africa area and this area is open and hopefully people like this area we can then do a little bit more experimenting. It's certainly that is the plan, that is what we're after doing. So Bengal Tigers, we're gonna have it in here. We're gonna put some food in for them. As we said, we'd like to get them in just to make sure we can get the biomes set up correctly and make sure they are happy. So we definitely gotta get the food items in and get 
a climbing frame in, and we could build um, uh, our own climbing frames, but you know, actually I quite like these climbing frames. I love the way these are put together, and the, the Tigers do as well, so why not use them? Why not use them? Um, I think it's perfect to use. I don't think, uh, you know, I don't want to use anything from the workshop, particularly we use anything from the workshop. We have done in Planet Coaster, but I think when we do a, a film series like this, we do want to try and use our own stuff rather than try and palm someone else's off as, as our own or indeed editing a few bits. And you know, there are some stunning recreations on the workshop for Planet Coaster. And I haven't really looked for Planet Zoo, to be honest with you, as, as to what's on there, but I imagine there are some stunning ones on there as well. Now, because we've hit play, we've had, oh, well, that was easy. We've had to go around the rest of the park and just double check a few things. That's our other zebra there, uh, sadly passing away. Um, 35 years old, 30, 35, 36 years old. You know, I mean, I can't really argue that, to be honest with you, he's, 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 he's had a good innings. Um, we've looked after him nicely, he's had a happy life. Uh, but yeah, we need to concentrate on the Bengal Tigers and make sure the Tigers are happy. Um, they don't need as much uh, kind of greenery as some of the other ones, so we will be a little bit careful. We don't want to go over, we want to make sure they are um, within where they are. We've got to make sure we use the right plant. Problem is you can select the right biome, um, as in tropical, but some of them are from North America and some of them come from Asia. You know, you've got to select the right ones. It's probably quite good, I guess. Um, and I should probably read it a little bit better rather than just planting the first one I like to look of. Uh, you know, but we do always double check. We double check with the animal. We make sure there's no red in there. As I said, we have watched, you know, even some of the really, really big creators on Planet Zoo on YouTube and they just kind of throw everything in there. And even I know they're not the right ones and you never get to see their, you know, how hat displays and whether they've looked at it. Um, they just, you know, go for the, go for the one sort of really great looking enclosure. Uh, and yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure the animals are happy. At the end of the day, we want to run this zoo. You know, as we said, we don't, we don't really want to build another zoo, to be honest with you. I think the European biome is the one I wanted to use for the weather variants. And you can do what we like with it. You know, it's got all the animals in. Uh, we didn't get the deluxe edition of Sadly, so we are missing a couple of the animals there. But other than that, it's got all the animals in. And, you know, refurbishing and rechanging, I just think works so much better on a zoo game than what it does on a coaster game. You know, you build a big roller coaster park and then you suddenly decide, actually, I want to change the theme of that area. It's massive. The change has got to be absolutely huge. It's going to require a lot of custom building, a lot of changing. Um, you know, and it just doesn't work as well. When it comes to the zoos, there's not a lot of theming to change. You know, you, you, you're in an Asian area, you're going to keep it an Asian area. Maybe you build a slightly better area, maybe you build a slightly bigger enclosure, and maybe you get a couple of different species in. Perfect, but you're gonna keep that thing. Generally, you're gonna keep that thing. You know, there are times in Planet Coast where I've got a Western theme and I just think, this is really boring now. I wanna change this to another theme. In fact, I wanna create my own theme for it. You know, I wanna create something amazing that isn't seen before and the, the, to change it and to get it all fit and then to build a roller coaster in a small area perhaps is really, really a lot more difficult than saying, actually, this park's complete. I'm happy with this park. Let's change it. Where I think with the zoo, you know, you'll certainly see it when we go over to the African area you know, I really want to expand the African area and change it and get it up to date and it's going to require a complete, complete change. But we're going to try and do it within the boundaries of what we got and we'll see how easy it is to do that. I think it'll be quite easy, but it will be interesting to see. And, you know, again, you know, with the Asia, we can complete this bit now and there are more Asian animals, uh, species that we can bring in further down the line, leave some space and, you know, come back and integrate it with what we've got really, really easily. So I think on the zoo game, you know, this is our zoo, you know, in terms of us uh, showing you the zoo, this is our zoo. We're going to go around and then when we get to kind of an area where I think, you know, actually we, we've kind of expanded as much as we can we've kind of put in every animal you know we'll go back to you guys and we'll say right what should we change what can we do what would you like us to attempt and you know if you've got any ideas by all means put them in the comments below because you know we've got a lot of space on this map and I don't even think we've touched sort of a tenth of the species that we could have especially when you take in certainly the uh, you know the the insects and things as well so there's a lot a lot to do and you know we haven't we haven't decided what's going on yet. We haven't decided what we're doing. Uh, I haven't quite decided what's going to go in what area, um, how much of it we're going to have. 
uh, you know, whether we're going to breed, whether we're just going to buy males or females to keep it a little bit easier. Really haven't decided. I just decided that it needs to look better and it needs to look a lot more, um, you know, like if you went to a zoo, you'd be really impressed with it. And our African area, unfortunately, doesn't fit in there. And even some of the scenery changes we've done, um, you know, still aren't going to help. They really aren't going to help, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we'll, we'll try and keep the Africa area, um, the entrance, I think we will try and keep the entrance, but you know, the way the facilities, the lions, the giraffes, um, you know, and the, the elephants are all laid out, it's just not gonna work. It's des you know, desperately gonna need a change and updating and we can do a lot better. And that's the plan, you know, that's what we're trying to do here is do a lot better and show you guys that, you know, we can, we, we wanna build uh, something a little bit special, something, you know, um, we can perhaps put on the workshop that you would download and indeed give a bash at the same time. So much like with the other enclosures here, we're gonna have a little walk down point rather than an up point. The up point is the main path and a down point will be to look through the glass. We're gonna have that undercover as well and make sure that we uh, cover all the gaps down back here, but we're gonna have that undercover as well because when it rains, you know, people do flock generally to the undercover area and they can sit under there and they can enjoy themselves and they can have a good look at the animals, which is exactly what we want them to do. We wanna get a slightly better rating. We're gonna put a little bit of scenery down here as well but yeah, you know, the Bengal tiger area coming on really well, really, really well. We've got quite a lot of work to do over the back area. We're going to have to enclose all that. And of course, we need to get the shop fascias done here too. So yeah, a lot of work to do. I don't know how much more we want to build before letting people up here. I think we probably want one more enclosure uh, before we link the path. We are going to have to link the path um, at the entrance bit, which is the bit we built down by the pandas. And we're going to have to probably put the path in down by the crocodiles and of course that area isn't particularly well put together and it does have um, it certainly has some problems in in facilities being seen so yeah people might have a bad impression coming up here i love these by the way i love these absolutely love the way you can make it look by putting those on the actual screens to make it really fit absolutely love it but really happy the way this area is coming on. And funny enough, when we look at the Asian Indian theme, you know, there is quite a lot to it. It's, a, it's quite a few different pieces that you could add in, um, different color schemes, different roofs, uh, you know, these lovely little canopies. I just love the way it all flows together and the little bit of pieces you can have. Uh, and you know, expansion should be quite easy for this going forward. And we'll have a few options of what we do. So yeah, you'll be able to walk around sort of the East, East Asia section and uh, yeah, you know, really soak in the atmosphere. That's certainly the plan anyway. Now, as I've said, we want to fence it all in. We want to get it all um, so you're not just you're not just seeing paths. And I think we have probably need to think about bringing the rhinos over here. As we said, we really want to bring the Indian rhinos over to this section because this is their uh, natural habitat. And I think the big area behind is where we will do that. And then I think we'll branch off probably probably branch off into some monkeys over the other side uh we're gonna get a little some of the signs as well i'm not overly impressed with some of the signs to be honest with you not overly impressed with the way some of them work i quite like these little uh these little hanging like cloths they look sort of like flags but they're actually cloths and we'll have tigers on there um as this is your entrance to the tiger area now then, the next thing we're going to do in this episode and it will see out this episode is start our indian rhino um, kind of section. Now, as we said, the Indian rhinos we put over here as part of the safari tour, but they are in the wrong boat. I'm, I'm aware they're in the wrong area. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people are riding the transport rides at the moment, because as we said, there must be a glitch with them. People have just stopped riding them. They're free. They're free. I know uh, people have said, oh, you know, don't charge for them, but they're actually free. We don't charge for it at all. So I see no reason why people uh, wouldn't be going on it. But we want to get the Indian rhino over here and uh, yeah, you know, we want to get them, uh, you know, happy in their own area. Now this is going to back on, so this is going to be completely in reverse to what we've built already. So with the entrance going around the bottom bit at the top right of the screen now, you know, the facilities are going to be hidden around about where the staff path are, not too far away from where the other facilities are in the other area. But of course, the facilities in the other area are encroaching on guest areas. So we're going to have to reroute quite a few paths in order to to make this work and this is going to be quite a big build to be honest with you um, it's going to be quite a big build so we can't really have it that side so we need to put it right at the edge so we can get the get the shops in we've got some shops down there we need to make sure we can get 
and get those in and everything is okay there. Uh, a little bit of water and we'll have some hard shelter over this section here, which is what we're gonna build first. We're not sure to build the house first. We're gonna keep it kind of in line with the rest of the area that it's backing onto, or where we've just done the Bengal tigers with you know slightly different wall and theme. We want to make sure the Indian rhinos, uh, which are in line with the red pandas and the pandas, uh, you know, keep in within that theme to make it you know coherent in what we've already done, and indeed, uh, you know, make it match. We want to make it match, and we want to make it look good. So one of the things we have uh, sort of done here is where you uh, have a building type for when you do one, and then you kind of build. Uh, you know within that block we are building different building types on different uh, in kind of in the same place in order for us to get the desired effect of us moving things over and centralizing things which you can't do when you're building the same block so you know just remember you hold the, sh uh, the I think just hold the control key when you're doing this and it does kind of not make sure that it well it, it doesn't add it to the existing group because it's uh, like labeled as a group on there but effectively it's your build and it doesn't add it to it and it starts a new one which is much much more useful so again here is our this is a hard build this is our habitat for our Indian rhinos um, and we're gonna just pop in now the food and everything and we'll bring the rhinos over and make sure they are happy we're gonna have to put a gate in actually first there we go put a gate in we'll just connect this path for now to there this is as I said this is gonna have to be completely reworked and we're gonna bring the two rhinos over I'm not sure how long they'll take to come over um, we'll remove some of the bits in here, but we will have to go back and completely change that African area at some point. So we'll wait for them to arrive. We're going to have to um, unpause the game. I'm sure there'll be some problems as we go around because there's, there's always some problems as we go around. Um, everything's breaking. Everything's breaking. All the water facilities are breaking. Uh, we just want to make sure the rhino is happy. Right, so the rhino's got no shelter. Why has the rhino got no shelter? He's got a big shelter. I don't understand. Oh, he's laying on top of him. Ah, oh, poo's rolling. <laughs> the poo's rolling down the hill. That's brilliant. Right, so why don't they like that? Do we need to put these inside? I don't really want these in there. Let's stick a couple in there and see. If I, I don't want them in there. But let's see if it helps. Doesn't help. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to try a few things here. Maybe, just maybe, I've just got to fix those. There wasn't enough space to get in. So let's delete those. Right, they're happy now. So uh, we did actually have two entrances there to get in. However, uh, the rhinos didn't feel they could fit through them. Um, for whatever reason, it wasn't quite big enough. So we'll have a completely opened front one. I think that's a, a better option if we have an open front one. And work on the rhinos will continue um, into the next episode. So again, while we kind of sort out the biome here and we've got quite a lot of work to do, what do you think? What do you think? We've added the Bengal tigers. We've added another enclosure. As you can see down the back here now, it's really coming together quite nicely. And of course, we're moving the Indian rhinos over. So what do you think? Are we making progress? Is this better than what we had? It can't be any worse. It really can't be any worse. Honestly, actually, I'm quite happy with this. I'm quite happy the way this is coming together. And hopefully the guests will like it. But leave your comments below. What do you think so far? And be sure to join us on our next episode of Planet Zoo here on UK Theme Parks as we expand this and move on to yet another area. Be sure to join us next time.